Hey, a week challenge, last habit for it, for the challenge. Habit number four, there's two parts to it. We've got one, hydrate, two, sleep. Okay, that's it. Probably the two biggest things, this one all comes under one word, which is recovery. All right, so we're doing all the other things right, we're training hard, we're eating good, we're getting to the gym, we're doing the things we need to do, we need to be able to recover, because if we don't recover in between our sessions, we're not gonna get the most out of it. If we're not getting the most out of life, then what's the point? <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink two liters of water every day, being that we should already get one liter from our food if we're doing our fruit and vegetable habit. If we're getting those in, then we're gonna get fiber in and we're gonna get enough water in, so we only need to drink two liters of water on top of that. All right, and then we're gonna sleep a minimum of seven hours, okay? Seven. All right, that for some of you, is already doing it, no big deal. For some of you guys, you're gonna to need to have to work at it, right? So there's definitely some strategies that I'm gonna give you guys to help set you up for success. Um, you know, some habits that you guys probably just need to be doing anyway, all right? Why is it important? Well, I shouldn't really have to tell you why it's important to sleep. We all know when you don't get sleep, you feel bad. Do you know what I mean? You just feel bad, right? You're tired, you're cranky, nothing really good happens when you're tired, all right? On the weekends or when you get a good amount of sleep, man, yes, I love life, Mondays, come on. All right, but yeah, you improve recovery for your work or for your workout. Cognitive function for brain fog or memory. You start to remember stuff a lot better because you're not stressing about it. Uh, your mood and awareness gets better. You're happier when you're rested. Reduce sickness, so less chance, especially coming into winter, getting cold now, less chance you're going to get sick if you start increasing your sleep. Um, and the ability to regulate and reduce weight. All right, so basically when your body's rested and can do its job, um, then all the processes are, you're not as stressed you guys going to be able to release those hormones at the right amount of time. It's not going to be in that fight or flight, that parasympathetic state, but it wants to hang on to weight. Uh, it's going to be able to release that kind of stuff and then allow you to recover. All right, so two habits, guys. Drink two liters of water every day. Sleep a minimum of seven hours. I'll put up some more stuff to try and help you with these guys. Do not forget about our existing habits. They don't go away. These are continually. You want to try and do these things. So eat slowly. Protein with every meal. Increase your veg and now hydrate and sleep. If you've got any questions, guys, post them down below. We've got two weeks left to go, so get around it, guys. If you've got any questions, hit me up. I'll see you soon.